video games, it's not unusual to find yourself on an unexpected side quest. And that's the true for the owner of a video game store in Milwaukee. We first visited Battlebox back in May of 2021. Now after an expansion, they're dabbling into the local fashion scene and reintroducing themselves to a community in need of healing. Amanda Porterfield recently returned to learn more. Bryant Wilcox is a lifelong gamer, and it was actually his mother who nurtured his love for the hobby as a boy to keep him out of Milwaukee's streets. Literally every birthday that I've ever had since I was a kid, I've always wanted games. And for the last nine years, he's turned that childhood fun into a business run by his entire family, with a store on the busy corner of 55th and Lisbon stacked full of the best consoles, cartridges, and much more. The secret to my sauce is I don't believe in selling my stuff online. So I want to keep all of the good stuff that I have, I try to keep it in store. You're talking about we have the best of both worlds. We have uh, the really good classic retro merchandise. For example, like Nintendo products, old school, Game Boys, GameCube, N N Nintendo 64. Then also modern stuff, you know, Nintendo Switch, PS5s, Xbox Series X, and also Rods, Republic of Gaming, you know, Steam Decks, old school and new. There's also Battlebox Lounge next door where adults come to play, complete with an outdoor space. And we do a little bit of everything over there from cosplaying to partying to you name it. Wilcox also has an online streaming channel to reach nerds far and wide. It's important because we don't have, there's really nothing here for us. And by us, I mean nerds in the inner city. And that's all racist creeds and color. If, you're living, if you live in a city environment, uh, there's, a, there's a big difference between maybe nerds out in the suburbs but nerds in the inner city or nerds in the city, like we have a different, there's a different layout. And now, Battlebox has created another lane for gamers. This is self-esteem booster. A catwalk run by and operated for inner city nerds in Milwaukee. I have a fashion show that I direct uh, myself and a uh, queen, Keisha Hollins, called the Cosplay Couture Gala. At the root of the fashion show is basically showing people that, you know, nerds are cool too. Nerds can be stylish and, and also sexy too. We're not just those, you know, basement dwellers that eat Cheetos and, you know, drink Mountain Dew all day. Like we, you know, we have style. I don't consider them customers or anything like that. Like they're like family members. Like you, you ever heard that term where you like, you make your own family. We've done that with the Battle Box. Wilcox says the cheat code to making it all work is just a set of rules. A little piece of policy keeps down a ton of anarchy. The lounge is members only. And you can't just walk into the store. You have to call before coming by. A lot of people also communicate through the Battle Box Facebook page. 90% of our rules is based on just simple house respect. Be nice, like don't make fun of people. Like we're a motley crew of all different races, creeds and colors. Just be, respect each other, you know. And that's, and that's, you know, like I said, rule number four is my favorite, which is no politics. While that last one may get harder to avoid over the next few months of 2024, Wilcox says playing by the rules has worked for nearly a decade. No incident, no fights, no nothing. It's a safe place. You can't have enough safe places, especially in the inner city. I had the option a few years ago to move to Madison and I declined, even though it was kind of, they laid it out for us. Madison don't need a battle box. Milwaukee needs a battle box. And that need is desperate, especially for black and brown men, women, and children. A lot of these guys, if they weren't here with us, sitting down, playing a game, playing Street Fighter, you know, playing Smash Bros, it's 10 o'clock at night in Milwaukee. Where would these guys be? That is the most important question for Bryant Wilcox, who already knows the answer. And it keeps him right here and motivates him to continue expanding. We're doing the fashion shows. We're going to start doing our, our short films. We're and directing a little bit. We have the game development stuff that we're doing behind the scenes. We're going to keep doing the tournaments. We're going to keep doing the parties. Just keep doing fun stuff right here in the city, you know? Just keep doing different things, being creative. And that's, and that's what it's mainly about.